This video will show you how to solve for the optimal advertising level for a firm. This firm has an inverse demand equation equal to 42 minus 1 half Q, where Q is quantity demanded, plus the square root of A, where A is units of advertising. This firm also has a total cost of production given by 2 times Q. Q is just a quantity of output produced by the firm. And A represents units of advertising. To solve this problem, we're going to rely on marginal revenue equals marginal cost. We're going to start by finding some marginal cost equations for this firm. The first marginal cost we want is the marginal cost of output. It's going to be the partial derivative of the total cost equation with respect to output Q, and we get 2. So this firm has a marginal cost that is constant at 2. Every time it produces one more unit of output, marginal uh, total cost rises by $2. The next marginal cost we want is the marginal cost of advertising, given by the partial derivative of total cost with respect to A, advertising, it's just one. So every time this firm were to produce a unit of advertising, its total cost would rise by one dollar. The next thing we do is to get marginal revenue. And we get marginal revenue from total revenue. Just writing total revenue as price times quantity allows us then to make a substitution of this inverse demand equation in for P. So 42 minus 1 half Q plus the square root of advertising. That's the P part. And that's all multiplied by Q. I'm going to simplify this. So Q times Q is where the Q squared is coming from. After that, we're going to get marginal revenue. The marginal revenue is going to be the partial derivative of the total revenue equation with respect to output. We get 42 minus Q plus the square root of advertising. Now the next marginal revenue we want is not the marginal revenue of output, but the marginal revenue of advertising. The marginal revenue of advertising will tell us how much total revenue will increase from producing one more unit of advertising. So we take the partial derivative of our total revenue function, this right here, this time with respect to A, and we're going to get 0.5 A to the 0.5 power minus 1 times Q. And I'll go ahead and simplify that. So this 0.5 is just 1 half, so I'll put 2 down here. And then a to the minus 0.5 power, I'm just going to rewrite that using the rules of exponents and put a to the minus 0.5 into the denominator as the square root of a. Okay, um, so we've got two marginal revenues, two marginal cost. We're just going to set them equal to one another. So let's set marginal revenue of output equal to the marginal cost of output. Okay. And I'm not going to do anything else with that right now. Let me set the marginal revenue of advertising equal to the marginal cost of advertising. And let me just simplify that a little bit. And so we have that expression. We have two equations and two unknowns now. So what I'm going to do is substitute this 2 times the square root of advertising in for Q over here. And if we do that, we'll get 42 minus 2 times the square root of advertising plus the square root of advertising. 
and that all equals 2. Simplifying this up, we get the square root of a equals 40. So if we square both sides, optimal advertising will equal 40 squared or 1600. Let's also get Q now, plugging that 1600 back into this equation. Once we do that, we'll see that Q equals 80. Square root of 1600 is 40 times 2 is 80. And one last thing we can get, we can get the firm's price. The firm's price is 42 minus 1 half times Q. This is just the inverse demand curve that we started with up here. So just rewriting that equation now, but plugging in 80 for Q. And 1600 for A. Uh, this will just simplify down to $42. So that's how you solve an optimal advertising problem. I hope you found this helpful.